So you go from relationship to relationship. They all end the exact same way. You're always getting into it with your family members. You separate from them. It always ends up the same exact way. You try to stack money. You're trying to get your funds right. The harder you try, it always ends up the same exact way. You're broke. What's the problem? It's you, boo. Let's talk about it. How you doing? This is Terry Young Wilson, aka Yo Boy Brother T, here with another one. I like to thank you and welcome to the New Life Tree, where we like to give you little pine cones of wisdom for your mental health and motivation. If you don't know what that is, stick around, stay on the channel, you'll get it. So today we're gonna talk about why it's you, boo. <laughs> it's you, boo. It's you. It's you. Trust me. It's you. It's you. So <laughs> the first thing I like to say is that I'm not I'm not just talking about women today. I'm talking about women, men and women, right? Okay? I just want to get that out of the way. So don't think I'm picking on you out there if you're, you know, a, a young lady. Anybody can be guilty of these things. So the, the first instance I gave was relationship after relationship. You have to understand that relationships are reciprocal, right? And they're also a mirror. They reflect back to you what you bring to the relationship. This is absolutely 100% true. Now, I took that from Zoe Williams or somebody. I don't know if he took it from somewhere, but that's who I got it from. And I started looking at my life in a certain way and my relationships realize that there is a lot of truth to that statement for instance you might be walking around insecure you bring insecurity to the table you get into a relationship with somebody else they'll mirror that back to you it might not be in the same way your insecurity might show up as uh, not being confident you know sometimes they're not confident in themselves so they yell at you and then you're here with a lack of confidence it mirrors back to you. You can be abusive. You can be an abusive person, right? And you can get with somebody who abuses in a different way. <laughs> They're mirroring it back to you. You might be physically abusive. They might be emotionally abusive. It's still a mirror. They're still reflecting abuse back. Do you get what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be exact same thing all the time, right? <laughs> but understand that whatever you bring to that situation you brung it it was you at what point are you going to stop and look at your life and say man i made that decision it was me look at yourself always take an assessment take accountability and own everything that you have done if you're a man and you end up in a divorce understand that a lot of the blame it's going to go to you no matter what, <laughs> right? Even if you don't want the blame, it's going to go to you no matter what. What you have to do, you have to sit back. You have to take an assessment. What did I do wrong? What did I not do that I could have done? What, uh, what did I do too much of that I shouldn't have did, right? And on the flip side, if you're a woman that got a divorce, you have to sit back, take an assessment. What did I do that I shouldn't have done? What I, what didn't I do that I should have done? You get what I'm saying? How could I make this thing make this thing better? It's always you, boo. It's you. <laughs> when you have a, a relationship with a family member and it doesn't go right. Now, I'm not saying that people don't do things to you. I'm not saying that people don't victimize you. Sometimes they do. Sometimes people are just jerks, right? Sometimes people are a-holes. I'm trying to say stuff without cursing. But, you know, for the most part, you're responsible for being in that terrible relationship. You own some of it. 
And you say, Brother T, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, it does. Watch this. So if you're in a relationship, now it's always toxic. A person's always talking crazy to you. I don't care if it's a family member. Uh, I don't care if it's a spouse, whatever, unless you're a child, right? But if you, uh, we're talking adults here. And if you're in that relationship and it always goes left, even if it's a family member, even if it's a parent, you're responsible for having yourself in that relationship. You could end it at any moment. You could put space between you at any moment. The very fact that you keep yourself in the position to get abused over and over again tells me that you're unaware that it's you, boo. <laughs> You think you think that it's the other person when it's not. They're just being who they are. Now, if that doesn't serve you in any kind of way, get away from them. Don't have them in your life. 100%. It's you, boo. If you can't uh, stack money like you're supposed to stack money, maybe it's your outlook on how money works. You have to find out how money works. You have to be financially literate. What you want to do, you want to get to a place um you know with your money where your money is always working for you your money is always making money for you that's easier said than done isn't it but you have to learn how to do that put it in places where you can get compound interest trust me that should be your favorite two words on the planet i know you love the word love right you love to say love and you love romance and nah, nah, nah. your two favorite words on this earth should be compound interest <laughs> change it change it change it so if you're unable to um save ever and you especially if you got a decent job and you can't put money away you don't have money to invest you don't have money here you don't have money there i'm talking about people with, with decent jobs here it's because it's you boo you just want to go around and just spend your money we call that consumerism consumerism you're being the consumer a consumer is just a person that buys things flat out you keep wanting to buy stuff. You keep wanting to get stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff. And stuff. What you want to do, you want to take portions of that money. And I want you to try to do this, right? We're not going to go too deep with it. But I want you to pay yourself first. Pay yourself first. Make sure the bills and everything you have to take care of is taken care of. And then invest the rest. Well, you can do it a different way. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just saying. I'm just throwing out things that you can try if it's not working for you right now overall what am i really saying yes i'm about to say it again it's you boo <laughs> it's you boo. if you uh pay attention to everything i said that i laid out you affect every part of your life there's no way around it that's why you have to take responsibility and take accountability for your life nobody else is the problem nobody else should be the blame for you not being where you're supposed to be in life it's you boo <laughs> this is your man terry on wilson i had fun with this one i i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i'll come back with another hot one next time family thanks for stopping through peace